Hey guys, hope all of you are having a great day. Hey, hey everybody, welcome to the session, your agent, your editorial for change. Now, this agent stands for Eon Guardian Economist, New York Times and Time. And I am Shabana Shah, your educator for VARC, where? At an academy. And then they say, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. And I'm going to clap it today for sure. Ask me why. Because I've got a super duper passage for you today. We had done something similar a few months back, same place here on YT. But then this passage is absolutely fantafabulous and I have got some brilliant questions coming up. So fasten your seatbelts and look forward to the ride. Hi Arpita. Yes, it's good to see you. Okay, so today I have cherry picked this from Eon Ideas. Uh, once again, a suggestion over here for you guys. Do not try to read Eon uh, essays because Eon essays are protracted. They are dense, extremely dense. So maybe if you're reading, you can read three to four paragraphs from there. But the thing is, more often than not, the passages have extremely weird language. Weird in the sense you will totally get lost or maybe you will lose that desire to read further. You'll be like, what the hell? Renegade. On the contrary, if you read Eon Ideas, you just have to go to Google tab and type Eon Ideas. They'll show you articles from Psyche. Okay. Hi, Karan and Sakhlan. So that's my piece of advice to you guys. Read proper sources. Read sources that are going to benefit you actually. Okay. Having said that, let me take you over to this. Unlock. Unlock 20%. Now, what is this unlock 20? You can get a straight 20% off on your subscriptions, guys. If you are appearing for CAT 22, please try to understand this is the right time for you to take a subscription. Even if you take a six-month subscription, you are saving 4400 That's a real deal, guys. And it doesn't come knocking on your door every single day. So just go for this and come over to the classroom. Because in VARC, there's a lot in store for you. And I can really help with your VARC preparation. So you're in safe hands. Okay, use my referral code Shabana Live. It's a humble request. Otherwise, you can call on that number. No, that's not my number. It's, uh, it'll take you to a place where you'll get more information about the subscription. Hi, Deeksha and Ajay and Simarpreet and the others who are joining in now. Okay, so this is 20% off on your Iconic also. Iconic is what? It's a kind of va value addition on your plus. An Academy Cat subscription features, you should be aware of this. Like once you buy a subscription, there are so many things that come with it. So you should know how to make the most of your uh, deal. This is an ongoing batch. Oh, that's me. So my part in it, that's VARC starts on July 1st. And I'm coming up with a brilliant course, which is super 100 for short summaries. So what are we going to do in that course? We are going to give you some basic strategies and all like even those of you who had not done short summaries earlier can just join this course and that's enough for you. You can do the strategies, techniques and everything in this. Plus, we'll be doing extensive practice with 100 questions compiled from different sources. And that will be good enough practice for you. You don't need to look further after that. Good afternoon. Yes, Ankush. Exam ke leaks? Haan. Lekin aise nahi de sakti na. Jeepay karo pehle. Mujhe to mein aapko dheere dheere ek ek do do questions bhejo ki. Okay. Last but not the least, subscribe and please use my referral code Shabana Life. Now, everybody. Hold on tight. Yes, Kritika, Yashvi, Ajay Yadav, Thakur, Charatla, Simarpreet, Sanskland, and all the others. This is the passage. Really hold your breath because this is going to be super duper wonderful, as I said. I was like on the edge of my seat when I was doing this PPT because it was so good. And it kind of gave me such nice question pockets where I could frame good questions for you. And let's see if you can solve those. By land. They aren't making it anymore, quipped Mark Twain. Mark Twain is known for his um, epigrams. Epigrams kisko bolte hain? Witty one-liners. So this is another one from Mark Twain. By land, they aren't making it anymore. Kharid lo, kharid lo, kharid lo. It's a maxim that would certainly serve you well in a game of Monopoly. As I said, we had earlier done a passage on Monopoly. Something related to this. 
The best-selling board game that had taught generations of children to buy a property, stack it with hotels, and charge fellow players sky-high rents for the privilege of accidentally landing there. How many of you have played business or Monopoly? I'm sure then you understand what the author is saying. If you play Monopoly, that's what you do. The best-selling board game, actually it is. It's a much-hyped game that has taught generations of children to buy a property stack it and like you know stack the cards and put hotels on your property and let's say Ashutosh lands on my property during the game mm -mm, you are going to pay me rent Ashutosh yay yippee yippee why because you had the privilege of accidentally landing on my property yes okay the next paragraph the game's little known inventor Elizabeth Maji now is the author going to talk about the inventor is he talking about how the game got its origin let's see elizabeth maji would do would no doubt have made herself go directly to jail haha <laughs> that's very funny because um, on that board game there is a place which at the corner there's a thing which says go to jail go directly to jail do not collect money do not pass go okay so would would have no doubt made herself go directly to jail why if she had lived to know just how influential today her game is but then not the normal not the actual game the twisted version of her game has turned out to be the distorted version of her game why because it encourages its players to celebrate exactly the opposite values to those she intended to champion you can pause over here after this match and you can just think Acha, so Maji, Ma Mark Twain Maji opposites, okay, Mark Twain said, Kharitte jau, Kharitte jau Maji actually, uh, Maji said, okay, uh, Maji is against the rules because it encourages the players to celebrate exactly the opposite values from what she had okay, cool, so this much we understood, try to think main ideas, kya ho sakta hai, words you know, like, okay, maybe monopoly origin, inventor capitalism okay capitalism is stacking of land and buying property and building property in the society right so property ye hai aapke words related to the main idea what can be inferred from the second paragraph for those of you who don't know these days we are doing a brilliant course on inferences we do it uh, every day i think you're on alternate days at 6 p.m and there are just four sessions in that course those of you who have missed it can go back and check the recording because in that course, you, you get to learn how to infer the implicit meaning from a particular line or a paragraph. Okay, Diksa, read the portion. What can be inferred from the second paragraph? I'm taking you forward now. The inventor's initial in intention of inventing the game got lost along the way. Second one, the distorted version of the game is influential is influential enough to send the inventor to jail if she were alive okay option three not many people know the real inventor of the game and the fact that she was a champion in her field watch out for wordplay Deeksa. watch out for distortions and go for poe that is process of elimination i'm sure you'll get the answer to this question come on everybody kanika and ankush and adi and Rushali. And the others. Back, sure, Arpit. That's a wise decision. Mm -hmm. Come on, Arpit. I have taken you back. From the second paragraph, just eliminate the word play wala options. Okay, people are coming up with one. Arpit, don't get influenced by the commoners. Don't say, okay, because they are saying one, you also have to go with one. If you have got a different opinion, please go with that. Namia, Ashu, I'll take you back to the options now. Yes, actually, you guys are right. It's one. Option two gets eliminated. Yes, Kritika, good. All of you got it. Option two gets eliminated because the distorted version of the game is influential enough to send her to jail. That's like real world play. It's, the distorted version is not influential enough. It says over here, 
the in the, the influential version that that's the distorted version is influential fine but that is not going to send her to jail yahan pe yahan bola hai ki agar wo sunti to wo phir se suicide kar leti ya mar jati ya wapas chali jati ya kood jati ya you know she would have sent herself to jail this is what the author is saying but it definitely doesn't mean that the distorted version is influential enough to send the inventor to jail if she were alive wrong and in option 3 yes prats option 3 also has some distortions check that not many people not many people know the real inventor of the game that's cool that's given there because the first line if you say if you see here says the game's little known inventor elizabeth maji yes people don't know exactly who had invented the game maine hazar bar khela mujhe khud nahi pata okay so not many people know the real inventor of the game and the second part of the option da 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 and the fact that she was a champion in her field who told us that she was a champion in her field the passage is not telling us the last line says the values she intended to champion that means she intended to support she intended to advocate she intended to perpetuate that is what the last line means got it perfect so option uh, option 1 is the answer yes it is mm -hmm. now what is not the tone in the first paragraph you read the first paragraph mark twain and some other stuff was there i'll take you back there are three options here factual contemptuous sarcastic back we go read the first paragraph and see what tone exactly has been used here the three options i repeat contemptuous factual sarcastic the question is which one is not the tone okay back to the options yes arpit and prats and ankush all the others diksha says two contemptuous okay what about the others mm mhm all right cool i lose you win you guys got it brilliant and i'm so happy contemptuous anyway is an extreme word remember when we did that short course on tones on the plus platform i had given you a list of tones and i had given you a separate list of extreme tones you can add contemptuous there contemptuous is derogatory kind of like extreme you are degrading somebody to an extreme level factual yes the tone is factual because he's quoting something of mark twain's so whenever the author says something of somebody else or quotes somebody somebody else that is factual it's a fact and sarcastic because in the first paragraph last line he says charge fellow players sky high rents why because they got the privilege of accidentally landing there oh ho unke to bhag khul gaye the wo pahunch gaye aapki property mein aapne kya kiya unse rent mang liya wo bhi kaisa sky high rent that is sarcasm okay perfect we move on to the next yes the next slide maji decided to take on the capitalist system of property ownership in the form of a board game please remember here the first line says take on it doesn't mean adopt it doesn't mean follow it means contest it means stand against hey i'm ready to take on the world i'm ready to challenge so maji decided to take on the capitalist system in the form of a board game now we know from this paragraph that this is showing how the board game came into existence the inspiration beca began with a book that her father the anti monopolist james maji had handed to her she got the inspiration from that he believed okay so this means that both father daughter believed in anti capitalism okay he believed that the equal right of all men to use the land is as clear as their equal right to breathe the air he says people have equal right to breathe the air that we have around us similarly they have equal right to use the land that has been bestowed upon us it is a right proclaimed by the fact of their very existence so we understand from this para that okay his father her father also believed in the same thing now we go down to the next one 
and we can easily and safely skim because the next paragraph is delving into the details of what George, um, ye writer tha shayad us book ka, James Maji ne jo usko ek wo di thi na, book, I think George was the writer, I missed one paragraph there. So, traveling around America in the 1870s, George has, had witnessed persistent destitution, destitution, that is poverty. So, you can start skimming because you know this passage is on George, who was the author of that book, which had been handed over by James Maji to his daughter. Start skimming. Witness persistent destitution and he believed it was largely because of the inequity of land, ownership and bound these two forces, poverty and progress together. So, as people are progressing and there's another section that is going further deeper into destitution. This is what he believed. They, they are moving together and they are creating a vicious circle of poverty, chronic poverty. This is what he believed or he saw. So instead of, that's a point where you need to, it's a pressure point, you need to focus. Instead of following Twain, oh okay, Twain ke sab against. Maji wo ladki bhi against, papa bhi against. And then this George is also against Twain. Twain bhai kharido kharido bolta rata tha. Okay. So instead of, he called on the state to tax it. Instead of wale mein kya funda hai? Instead of ke saath jo aage wala portion hota hai, that is important. He called on the state to tax it, land ko tax karo. On what grounds? And then you skim. Because that much of land's value comes, not this, but that technique. You remember this, I'm sure. Not from Ankush, not from what is built on the plot. Whatever is built on the plot doesn't matter. Not from this, but from nature's gift of water or minerals that might lie beneath its surface or surround it or the communally created value nearby roads and railways, a thriving economy, safe neighborhood, schools and hospitals. That is why a, la a piece of land becomes valuable. Not this, but that. Instead, in what? And the last line looks like a claim. And he argued that the tax receipts should be invested on behalf of all. Jo bhi usme se aya aapka. Tax accumulation. It should be invested for all the people. Cool, Dixon. What was George's argument? Give it one more look and I'll take you over to the options. Please get this also right. Got it? George's argument, kya kya point tha? Instead, not this but that. And last claim, last line. Ye pressure points hai. You should know that you have to pick your answers from there. Options. Now, there has to be wordplay because the sentences look long. So, watch out, guys. Since land draws its value from the community and locality, the money collected as tax should be disbursed among the community members. Option 2. A piece of land should be taxed for communal benefits as its value depended on the locality, the surroundings. Option 3. The tax acquired from a piece of land should be used for the community as the construction on that land or the erection on that land lends value to the locality. Arpit, watch out for word play. Deeksa, Kamal Ankush, Abhishek, Krutika, Rushali. What was George's argument? The other two have definite word play. Back, Shadi. You should have that much of retention power, Adi, because we, ha I have highlighted the spots over here, the pressure points, and we had read it so well. So you should be able to remember that much at least, Ankush and everybody else. Still, it's okay. Good. Don't be hasty. What was George's argument? And here you can just check the pressure points. Pick from there, go back to the options. Chalo Prats. Read the options carefully, guys. Look out for word play and then give me the answer. Vrushali says two. Prats says two. The others? Yes, Ankush. Over to the options. Pratika says two. Namya, ah, again I lose. And happily. You guys get it. Perfect. You know, you know, option one, the word play. 
द मनी कलेक्टेड एस टैक्स शुड बी डिस्बर्स्ड अमंग द कम्युनिटी वर्कर्स नहीं भाई नहीं टैक्स आया है आओ 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 सब लोग लो ये पांच सौ तुम्हारा हजार तुम्हारा तुम ज्यादा लंबे हो तुम्हारा पांच हजार तुम थोड़े ज्यादा मोटे हो तुम्हारा डिडक्ट कर दिया मैंने दो सौ तो ये डिसबर्समेंट की बात नहीं चल रही थी द मनी दैट वॉज सो कलेक्टेड एस टैक्स शुड नॉट बी डिसबर्स्ड अमंग ऑल इट हैज टू बी इन्वेस्टेड फॉर द वेलफेयर ऑफ द कम्युनिटी दैट इज वॉट टू से वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम विथ ऑप्शन थ्री Yes, Faisan. Good to see you. The tax acquired from a piece of land should be used for the community. Perfect. Haven't I taught you this technique? The second part needs to be checked. As the construction on that land lends value to the locality. No, he has said that clearly over there. Not this, but that. Not the construction, but the surroundings. So this one definitely goes pluck out. Yes, Adi. I'm so happy. Till now we have done three questions and you've got all the three questions correct so far. Wonderful. Good going. Chin up. Okay. Answer was two. Yes. Now, by George ne yaha pe na dekha. He witnessed this, this, this and then he wrote it in a book. And then James Maji handed that book over to his daughter. So we could skim that paragraph a little. Move on. Now, Maji comes back into the picture. Determined to prove the merit of George's proposal. Maji invented and in 19, 1904 patented. If you remember, we had done a YT session on patents a few days back. So patent is copyright, American. Okay? And in 1904 patented what she called the landlord's game. Now this paragraph is explaining that. You can just just zip across those lines. Laid out on the board as a circuit. It was populated with streets, landmarks, the key innovation. Ah. However, that's a pressure point. The key innovation of a game, however, lay in the two sets of rules that she wrote for playing it. 100% a question pocket. Two sets of rules and however. Next paragraph is on that. While reading this passage in the cat, I would not read that next paragraph. Now, because I know there's going to be a question on that. So, I, I'll just give it a glance. Prosperity, set of rules, okay, okay, fine. In contrast, ah, okay, so both the sets of rules are there. And definitely a question will be there. When I come, up, when I come across the mountain, I'll cross it. So, that's why I will just move on. And when you come to the question, just come back, give it a good reading, and then you can come up with your answer. So, under the prosperity set of rules, every player gained each time someone if someone acquired a new property. Take okay? it. We are playing that board game. If I acquire a new property, Deeksa gets benefited, Ashutosh gets benefited, Ankush gets benefited, Prats gets some money. Everybody gets benefited. Why? Because I have to pay tax on that acquisition. And then that tax is used for the community. So every player gained each time someone acquired a new property. This was what they all wanted. George and Kya Naam Tha Uska Maji and Uske Papa. When the player who had started out with the least money had doubled it, it was won by all. Bracket me dekh rao, by all. Ye tha aapka, ha, utopian, by all. Then under the monopolist set of rules in contrast, waise bhi in contrast jo hota hai, that's a question pocket. Anywhere in the passage, if the author shows you a point of similarity or difference, it is a question pocket. So keep a firm eye on that point. So, in contrast, players got ahead by acquiring properties and collecting rent from all those who were unfortunate enough to land there. And whoever managed to bankrupt the rest emerged yay, yay, yay as the sole winner. Sound familiar? Does that sound familiar? Yes, that's the society we are living in these days. That's what he's trying to insinuate or give you that idea. Question. What can be inferred about the two sets of rules? Remember, inference course is going on, so you'd have to do inference questions. Yes, guys, Prats, I'm taking you over to the options now. One benefited the community, while the other benefited a handful of powerful people. Second one, one focused on taxation, while the other encouraged usury. You should know the meaning of usury. Third one, one encouraged people to live harmoniously, while the other gave birth to greed and envy. Don't you think, think you can eliminate easily over here? Because by now you know what the two sets of rules were and what the how the game was played then, how it is played now. 
Yes, Arpit. Diksa says one. I don't think you need to go back. Okay, let me give you the meaning of usury. Usury is snatching, seizing somebody else's property. So option two definitely gets eliminated because nowhere in that paragraph has the author said that uh, that set of rules told people to snatch. Ankush, tumhari ye property hai, de do mujhe, dhang. Mane snatch kar liya because of power. No. It did not encourage usury. It just said that, oh, okay, you have landed on my property, you pay tax. Sorry, you pay rent. Okay, so that is wordplay. Option two is out. Yes, yes, all of you got it. You got the answer. I'm so happy. Option three is also out because there's wordplay. One, encourage people to live harmoniously. This is quality. Bhai, it encouraged people to live harmoniously, amicably. In what way? We don't know. The other gave birth to greed and envy. We are like kind of inferring too much. This is not what we call inference. Inference is something which is there. Sneaking out. Peeking out from behind the curtains. But ye bhai birth, gave birth to greed and envy and all. This is external knowledge. Hum laga rahe. So definitely this is out. And this is talking about the quality of living. property hai, kaun rent de raha hai, kaun tax de raha hai. We were talking about that. Okay, so definitely one is the safest because the other, other two get eliminated. One benefited the community while the other benefited a handful of powerful people. Answer is one yes. Now, we can easily skim this portion. Look at this. The purpose of the dual sets of rules. So we know, okay, this paragraph is giving us the reason. Was for players to experience a what? Practical demonstration of the present system of land grabbing with all its usual outcomes and consequences land grabbing bole to not necessarily from others you know buying ek ke baad ek, ek ke baad ek. oh giving throw away throw uh, yes at throw away prices i'm giving you offers oh i know that person is in dire need of money chalo chalo mujhe ye bech do so that is what he means over here grabbing with all its usual outcomes and consequences and hence to understand how different approaches to property ownership can lead to vastly different social outcomes and then you can skim a little bit Game of life, contains elements, okay, blah, 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 accumulation of wealth. Then the next paragraph, the game, game was soon a hit among left-wing intellectuals. I'm going to skim this because I know this paragraph is talking about how it got popular. Who were the people who accepted it? Who were the people who started using it in their schools, colleges or circles or whatever? So if there's a question, we'll come back and read this. Okay, college campuses, you can just skim. Wharton School, Columbia, Quaker, communities, okay, adaptation was okay, finished. Here we save a lot of precious seconds by just skimming the portion. Cool, and then we go over to the conclusion. After that, you've got a primary purpose question. Once the game's true origins came to light, oh, okay, wait. So she started it, and then she had those two sets of rules. This is what she did. And then what happened? It was taken on colleges, college campuses and they started kind of uh, using the game, playing the game. Okay. And the last bit of this paragraph says, who later sold such a modified version to the games company Parker Brothers as his own. Oh, so there was somebody who just stepped in between and who took the game and sold it as his own. Okay. Once the game's true origins came to light, Parker Brothers bought up Maji's patent. But then relaunched the board game simply as Monopoly. And provided the eager public with just one set of rules. We don't need that. That is kind of utopian. That is silly. benefit. What is that? What are you talking? Those that celebrate the triumph of one over all. There's a colon there. That's a question pocket. A pressure point. Worse, they marketed it along with the claim that the game's inventor was Darrow. Darrow Khan, go back and check. He had sold it to the Parker Brothers. Who they said had dreamed it up, sold it to Parker Brothers and became a millionaire. It was a rags to riches fabrication, invented story, cock and bull story that ironically exemplified Monopoly's implicit values. Colon. Pick it up. Chase wealth and crush your opponents if you want to come out on it. You have to remove your adversaries. You have to do something so that you stay in the game. Maybe it's a kind of squid game that you can come up with that analogy. Others are being thrown out of the game and they are shot. 
and the last paragraph. So next time someone invites you to join a game of Monopoly, here's a thought. As you set, last, last paragraph to padna hi padna hai. As you set out piles for the chance and community chest cards, piles us pe hote hain, theek hai? Establish a third pile for land value tax, to which every property owner must contribute each time they charge rent to a fellow player. How high should that land tax be? And how, how should the resulting tax be distributed or utilized or in, uh, invested? Such questions will no doubt lead to fiery debate around the monopoly board. But then, that is exactly what Maji had always hoped for. She had hoped that people are going to argue, that people are going to debate, and people are going to just discuss ki wo tax receipts ka karna kya hai, land tax jo aayega. Got it? This was the end of this passage. Beautifully written. It, it had such good examples and like kind of the connection was so good. Now, what is the primary purpose of the art? Primary purpose is what? The flow. You first take the main idea and the last paragraph, the last bit, and of course, the first line of every paragraph. How has he progressed? I'm going to take you over to the options. Read, watch out for wordplay, go with your process of elimination and start me. To evoke the reader's interest in the game and make them aware of what capitalism is. Remember, wherever there are two sides, both the sides have to be verified. I mean, here and here, dono sides hai, check karo. Second one, to empathize with the game's inventor and criticize the modern capitalist society. Third one, to bring to light the game's actual origin and development right up until the present day and insinuate the evils of capitalism. I'm sure you guys can get this answer. Chalo Ayush. Yes, Fazan. Prat says three. Prat is in his elements today. Oof. All the answers you got correct today, Prats. Do you realize it? Like five upon five. And so did the others. Brilliant. You guys got the fifth. Uh, got the last one. That's the correct one. Option three is the answer. Why? Because to evoke the reader's interest in the game is not what he wanted. Second part is correct. To make them aware of what capitalism is. Chalega. Second, option two, to empathize with the game's inventor. No, 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 no. He's not empathizing. He's just highlighting. He's bringing things to light. He's actually taking the wool off our eyes. Ye jo monopoly hai. It was not invented this way. And one Maji was there who was the little, uh, who is not known by the people today. So to bring to bring to light the game's actual origin, development, aaj tak jo bhi hua hai, and tell us about the evils of capitalism. In two or three paragraphs, he has highlighted and spoken in detail. Ye hota hai capitalism. Okay. Courses for July. This is the announcement, the million dollar announcement. Short summary 100. Super 150 for grammar, which is going to be a vardan for your omits. If you do these super 150 concepts and don't do anything else in grammar, you can, you, you will be easily able to solve the questions in grammar, whether it's that, IFT, NMAT, CMAT, SNAP, koi bhi exam ka apna hoge. Time bound test, there's going to be a short course, six to seven sessions long, and then YT editorials compiled. That's another course that's coming up. So be tuned, stay tuned for this. And those of you who haven't taken a subscription yet, go for it. 20% unlock chal raha hai, but yes, referral code has to be Shabana Live. After all, you want to come over to my classroom, right? And then you want to tell me, hey, ma'am, I'm here. Bye-bye. See you later, alligator.